tell you what question I'd start off with. Congresswoman Bachman? Yes. You've said that you were told to run for president by God. Please, I don't... You have, if... right? You've said on a number of occasions that God told you to run for president. I have some clips here if you'd like me to refresh your memory. Nope, my memory's fresh. Here's my question. Good. What does God's voice sound like? <laughs> I'm completely serious. She's saying that God spoke directly to her. How is this not the first question asked in a debate? How is it not the only question? What does his voice sound like? What did he say exactly, word for word? Did he speak in Hebrew, Akkadian, Ki Swahili Bantu? And to put it in a medical context, is this the first time you've heard voices? She's claiming to be a prophet. The whole world is sitting on the edge of their seat. How is this not the first question we'll ask? First of all, can you stop pointing at me and saying she and her. You're the one who wanted to play a woman, but tell me why that question is Because absolutely. it's not the best way to demonstrate seriousness of intent, and it's not the best way to not insult people. Which people? Christians, 83% of the country. I'm one of them, and she's insulting me! Please, stop pointing at me when you are Relax, pointing at me when- Relax, J. Edgar. She's insulting me. She's insulting my family. She's insulting my congregation, and she's insulting my faith. She's implying that Christians are imbeciles who will believe anything while reducing God to a party hack who endorses political candidates. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is the first time since Moses that God has given direct instructions to someone other than his son. But if so, I think it deserves a follow-up. We're not going to get the debate if we're mocking their candidates. The whole point of the new debate format is to compel the candidates to tell the truth and make them responsible for their own rhetoric by asking tougher questions than a Match.com profile. If she knows what God wants, then I'm voting for her. If she doesn't, she should stop saying so. I'm not attacking Christians. I'm defending them. All right, just a moment, please. What? I'm standing up for the tens of millions of Christians who are tired of being represented by having our identities. There's been an identity theft. That's it. That's the one I want.